Alright, uh, Buju Manitoubanas, Mugtail Mahegan, didn't go at Tech Duda. I'm a research assistant out of Thunder Bay. Or you can also call me Tyler Armstrong. Okay, um, what was your experience like when conducting the interviews for NCCIE? Um, the process with the uh, conducting interviews, I would say, when done properly by, you know, offering our same and having relationships with the people. It really helped the process go smoothly. Mm -hmm. um, I had previous relationships with the people I interviewed, their family and friends that I, I, I are acquaintances that I've like known throughout my life. So, and then following our protocols, it, it, things went smoothly that way. Awesome. Um, what would you say it was your favorite interview and why? Um, there was three interviews out of the, f I, I conducted five in total and three of them were in my language. Um, so OG Cree. I, I found those to be my favorite because just hearing our elders speak the language and um, and then they translated themselves on the video as well beca because I think that's important so they can do their best to get what their messages were across. Um, and it's just beautiful hearing the language. So those are my favorite. If you can recall from uh, those three, <coughs> there like a little clip that was stood out to you and was kind of... Um, I guess in terms of uh, my favorite things that stood out is I, w I would almost say all three of them spoke well on what our, our future generations need to know. Um, and Shao Zavano Uh she speaks about how everything we have everything around us that we need, um, and I think that was a, a line that spoke a lot to me because as indigenous people, as Anishinaabe people, um, or wherever you may come from, uh, everything we need is on the land and, you know, the water and just around us. And I think that's important for our younger generations to understand. Awesome. Have you ever conducted an interview in your language before? I've never conducted uh, interview in my language. I, I don't speak the language yet. Um, that's something I'll be working on, but um, hearing the language is, is powerful and it, it did motivate me to want to continue on. And I had, outside of the interviews too, I, I was asking questions on which direction I should go to learn the language. So, the, so seeing them speak in the interview, um, I, I chose them initially because I, I knew they all had their language still. I think what what motivated me to learn, want to learn my language is just there's a lot of discussions that go on with people like so leading up before I even started filming they, they would talk a lot about the language and what well, you know what it means because they understand the importance of the language and what it means for us as Anishinaabe people so once they started to speak it, I could I could pick I can pick a few words here and there, and I and I think it's just like it's something you need to hear on a regular basis to you know to keep that strength to keep that to keep that you know language spirit alive and just to keep keep it growing inside of me that I need to you know go because if I if I was in a position where I could never hear the language then you know that's how things get forgotten so awesome so what do you hope uh the people who are going to be watching the interviews that you specifically chose to do uh, what do you hope they take away from it i hope that the people that watch the interviews that i conducted i think there's a lot that it doesn't matter who you are you can take something away from it it's a lot of it is about living a good life and, you know, understanding our ways, understanding 
everything that's around us that, you know, that will help us on our journey. And I really think that's just beneficial to everyone. So I guess the most important message is, is when you're, when you're watching them, listen to what our elders are saying, because there's more than just, it'll help you in your educational life, but it'll just help you in your, your everyday life too. Um, they go hand in hand. If li living a good life, <laughs> living a good life. Uh, so by living a good life, it'll benefit you not only in school, but it'll but it'll benefit you outside of school and everything else you may do. And I think those are some of the stronger messages and, and the interviews that I conducted. Awesome. Any last remarks you want to make regarding your interviews or um, being a researcher? <laughs> Okay, uh, I think um, being a researcher has been a good experience because um, it, it's there's we there's two different worlds that we walk in, right? There's our traditional, you know, knowledges, and then there's uh, another world where we have to accommodate to the um, to the Western structures and stuff like that, and I think. By doing the interview, I mean, doing the interviews, we're starting to bring together Western education and our traditional knowledges together, which I think is where we're like slowly trying to be moving. And I think that's what a lot of people are working on.